Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number six from the October 2023 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P3 paper. This question here is um, about modeling with logarithms, exponentials. It says an area of seafloor is being monitored. The area of the seafloor s kilometers squared covered by coral, coral reefs is modeled by the equation s equals p times q to the power of t. It's like an exponential type of relationship. Where p and q are constants and t is the number of years after monitoring began. Given that the log to the base 10 of s equals 4.5 minus 0.006t, find According to the model, the area of the sea floor covered by coral reefs when t equals 2. So simply have to just find out what s is when t equals 2. So when t equals 2, you have log to the base 10 of s equals 4.5 minus 0 0.06. Be careful. 0 0.006 times 2. Okay, so we can say um, log to the base 10 of s is equal to, let's find out what that gives us, 4.5 minus 0 0.006 times 2. That gives us 400, 4.488. 4.4488. So we need to find what 10, uh, what, what s is. We have log to the base 10 of s. So we need to get rid of this logarithm. So we have to rewrite this in index form. So we know that the log to the base a of b equals c can be rewritten. a is the base, this c is the power, and b is like the answer. So we can say 10 to the power of 4.488 is equal to s. So s is equal to 10 to the power of 4.488. So we have 10 to the power of that last answer, which gives us 30,760.96, 30, 30,760.9, continues on like that, 968. Now the answer, it doesn't tell us how to express our answer, so our final answer should always be to three significant figures unless otherwise stated. Hmm. So that is going to become 30,800. To three significant figures, 30,800. Okay, and that is the area in kilometers squared, but it says asking to find what. All right, so yeah. So therefore the area is, if you'd write the units, 30,800 square kilometers. Okay, S is 30,800, so the area is 30,800 square kilometers. You specify for you to write, if they said find the value of S, you would leave it as 30,800. But because it says find according to the model the area of the sea floor covered, you would therefore say the area is 30,800 kilometers squared. All right, so that's part A. Now for part B, it says find a complete equation for the model in the form S equals P, Q to the power of T. Okay, giving the value of P and the value of Q each to three significant figures. So this is the, you know, this is the model that we have in terms of uh, logarithms. Okay, and this is the vo volume, this is the model that we have in terms of index or exponents. So what we can do is we can rewrite this in logarithm form. Okay, or alternatively, we could write this you know, we can rewrite this outside of uh, logarithm form, but I think it's best for us to do this this way. So we can take log to the base 10 of both sides. So log to the base 10 of S equals log to the base 10 of P times QT. Now, before I can um, um, do anything with this power, I have to split this into a separate products because that T is not a power of both P and Q, only of Q. So I'm going to write this as log to the base 10 S equals log to the base 10 of P plus log to the base 10 of Q to the power of T. Then I can use the power law. So log to the base 10 of S 
equals log to the base 10 of p plus t times log to the base 10 of q. So now, if we compare that to what we have, all right, from the beginning of the question, we compare that, okay, we can see that um, this is like 4.5 is like in the place of this log to the base 10 of p. All right, and you can see that 0 0.06, okay, or negative 0 0.06 is in the place of, you can say log to the base 10 of q. They're in the same place as each other, right? So we can compare them and say that means log to the base 10 of p must be equal to 4.5. And we can also say log to the base 10 of q is the same as negative, because there's a plus, that's negative 0 0.006. Okay, so it's t times that, that's t times that, right? So we can then use the same reasoning as we did up here, you know, where we, we know that the log, the log to the base a of b equals c can be rewritten in index form. The base is the, um, the base, log to the base a, that's the base. The c here is the power and the b is the result. So we can say, 10 to the power of 4.5 is equal to p. So therefore, p is equal to 10 to the power of 4.5, which is 31,622.77, uh, 31,622.77. 31, goes on. Okay, so we're going to write this to three significant figures. That's 31,600. Okay, so that's p. Okay, and Q, similarly, we can say 10 to the power of negative 0 0.006 is equal to Q. So Q is going to be equal to, so we have 10 to the power of, in this case, it's going to be negative 0 0.006. And that gives us 0 0.9862. Okay, so we can say, therefore, Q is equal to 0 0.9862. 8627 continues on. So 3SF, that's going to be 0 0.986. Okay, so there's a value of Q and the value of P. And now it says, with reference to the model, interpret the value of the constant Q. This is worth one mark, okay? But I'm sure that a lot of students, they didn't know how to do this. It's very important for you to understand. Okay, if we go back to the model, okay, of s equals p um, times q to the power of t so we have s equals p times q to the power of t if we put the values in you have 31600 times and you have 0 0.9 0 0.986 to the power of t this is a type of exponential um, equation which involves exponential decrease this is like you can say like um a series, a geometric series with the common ratio, 0 0.986. So it's like the numbers are going to go down each time. Okay. So what does the constant Q, so we know Q is equal to 0 0.986. What does that represent in the model? Okay. How do we interpret it? It's basically, you can say it's like the multiplying factor. When you have um, exponential um, problems with exponentials, it's a multiplying factor. Okay, so we can say that um, the coral, okay, um, from one year to the next, from each year, one year to the next, okay, will be, you can say, 98.6% um, of what it was the previous year every year the uh, the coral coral reef is going to be 98.6 okay so less 98.6 uh, of what it was okay so you can say that every year the coral reef is going to be 98.6 the area of the coral reef will be 98.6 let me put that in a bit better way Okay, so we can say that 
each year. The area of the coral reef, just to be a bit more specific. You have to give it in terms of the actual situation. The actual, what does it actually stand for? S stands for the area of the coral reef. Will, okay, uh, will be 98.6% of what it was the previous year. So it's going down by like, that's how many percentage is that? That's like 1.04%, something like that. What it was, 1.14%. What it was the previous year something like some explanation like that it's only worth one mark but that one mark could be the difference between a star and a okay with the p3 you know and p4 rules of uh you know getting a star so you got to be careful i know some students who've missed out on a stars by just one mark you know they end up with 179 out of 180 out of 200 sorry for their ums of uh, p3 and 4 and um, you know for everything else really high marks like almost 100 percent for everything else but that causes you to lose an a star so you don't just ignore the importance of these questions all right so it's important for you to express it properly so we have to give it with reference to the model so you have to mention the area of the coral reef okay um and you can you, you mention here that this is like the multiplying factor okay it's like every year it's going to be 98.6 percent of what it was the previous year something like that okay so that concludes this question other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the top corner of the page at the end of this video you'll find questions dealing with exponentials um, and modeling in the bottom right of the video you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video here which will show you how to get to my index PDF documents, which will help you to navigate through my channel and find things that you're looking for quickly. Thank you for watching and see you soon.